Degenerates like you belong on a cross. couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? How about your name? Can you tell me your name? That shit is fucking trash! It's what I'd have picked for you. Nigga, what? I don't want that to be my name. Five minutes later. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Hey, and Welcome ass, to Good Spring. What the fuck is this piece of shit? No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on Are your you feet. you touching me like that without my consent, buddy? Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Look about my face, man. You're looking good so far. <laughs> See if your dogs are still barking. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Do I even have a strap? I do, do I not? Laser pistol, okay. Wait, I'm out here going into this bitch with no strap. What is this? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. Hey, do that somewhere else. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Ah! No. Come on! Damn, I'm about to die. Bitch. Yeah! Oh, shit. Come on. I didn't know she was gonna be a superhuman. Oh, she's weak. Bro. Oh, she folded my shit, son. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What the fuck? Oh yeah! Hmm, <laughs> what? Run your pockets, nigga. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Hello? Can you help me? <laughs> My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry.
Sorry I tricked you. But thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After I deal with you. Aha! Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. What kind of gun you got on you, fuckboy? was brought you to prim youngster but you might want to rethink your plans town's gone to hell i'll tell you whatever i can you have a delivery order you can show me oh so you're talking about one of them packages that job had strange written all over but we couldn't turn down the caps that cowboy robot had us hire six couriers each was carrying something a little different Pair of dice, chest piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received Bro, for the other five turn jobs. this fucking jazz off. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Big. suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. 
Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Hey there. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now than I'm there through we go, my we go. bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Oh my god! Come on. Holy shit! Nah, he scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> nah, he scared the fuck out of me. Hey there. Generates like you belong on a cross. Yo! Oh my gosh! You can say some out of pocket shit in my game for you, bro. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I think your eyes will see more than I could ever tell you. Take your time. Enjoy the sights. The fuck you doing here, nigga? Identify yourself. Who the fuck are you? Yo. Oh! He needs some milk. Yo, they fucked me up. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> what lottery? The lottery! That's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god! Smell that air! <laughs> Bro's just walking to his grave. Pleading for his life. I'm out of here. No, you're not, buddy. <laughs> yep. This is Bag, hopeless. nigga. Bag, nigga. your mouth boy oh my gosh ah, no! Might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. Watch out for strangers!
What's going on, man? Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Oh yeah? A good friend? If you say so, man. Well listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need too. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Oh, okay. Skin is crazy. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Does this nigga know what he looks like? Open the door or I'm gonna throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. Will you help us, Wanderer? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours. And will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator. Bless you. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are 
not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your cool friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass. Instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Then you're dumber than you look, smooth skin. Eat this. Antler C. Find. I. I think. I don't want to fight these niggas. They too fucking strong. So I think I'm gonna just fight these niggas up here. I'm gonna go back up here, cause it ain't my my original mission is just to kill him, right? I'm killing him. The fact that this nigga sent me on this type of journey, bro. Yes. Go bother Jason, smooth skin. I don't like. I'm killing your leader. Get away too far, my boy. Where, where that nigga that kept calling me smooth skin? Man? Where his ass? Damn, he tipped on me. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Hope that helps. I owed you. Hey. You. You wandered into town recently, right? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Good. 
I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. What's going on, man? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Yeah, see ya. Alright. That was a little sus. I can't lie. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Look out for yourself. Wasn't him. I hope you're finding everything. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Watch out for strangers. It wasn't her. We're gonna go get this nigga clipped. What's going on, man? What now? This better be good. Let's go, man. Walk, boy. Walk, boy. Cutscene's gonna feed families, bro. <laughs> this shit is fucked, bro. It was definitely him. Yo! <laughs> That shit was quick as fuck, bro. Oh my god. Holy shit. I thought there'd be like a cutscene or something. That's it then. How did you know? God damn it, this wasn't supposed to be a guess. He might not have done a goddamn thing. Get out. I don't ever want to see you here again. You stay the hell away from me. Uh, I'm curious who really did kill his wife. Okay.